So just as a brief explanation of what this means to get a running start, let's pretend you're reading uh, The Hunger Games. And this is like an online version of, the, version of The Hunger Games that I found. So over here you can see I'm reading The Hunger Games. And let's say yesterday when I was reading, I got to Chapter 2. So I read all the way through Chapter 1, and I left off to Chapter 2. Now, one thing we might be inclined to do the next day when you start up is just starting here right at the very beginning of Chapter 2. However, lots of stuff has happened in your brain between the time you stopped reading yesterday and the time you're going to start reading today. So here would be my suggestion. Get a running start every single day, which means don't start at the place you just finished at yesterday. Go back a page or two and start from there. And you might be reviewing stuff. Sometimes when you do this, you'll be like, yeah, I remember all this stuff. Other times, there's going to be little things that are details that probably are important in the story that perhaps you forgot. So I'm going to go ahead and do something like, I don't know, start two, three pages back, kind of skim backwards until I find a place where I kind of remember what was going on. Maybe here, the rules of the Hunger Games are simple. So now I'm going to review like what the thing is for the Hunger Games, like how, how does one play the Hunger Games? Spoiler, fight the death. So you read through, keep going. Hey, Mitch, he's drunk. Shocking. And all the way down, down, down. And then, oh, it's Primrose Everdeen. So she's got a reason to, like, care now. Okay, now I'm totally back in the book. And when I hit this new information, my brain is 100% ready to hear it, which is way better than starting here and trying to have to remember what was going on as I'm consuming this new information. It's a lot for my brain to handle. So get a running start when you start reading your book for the day.